Hello and welcome to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon and I show you how to build software without coding. And in this walkthrough, I am going to show you how to get started with Crew AI. Crew AI is one of the leading multi-agent platforms. You can re create a series of agents and leave them to work on a task independently and get back to you with the results. Even though I primarily focus on building software without coding, this does have a little bit of code involved, not too much, so it shouldn't be too daunting. Let's get started. One of the first things you want to do is create an account with Crew. Once you create, a, create, create an account with Crew, you want to log in. You will see a dashboard like this. You'll see my crew here. But what we're actually going to do is jump over to the documentation so I can kind of walk you through this documentation. So we'll start with the introduction. This gives an overview of crew, what, are crew, what is crew, what are AI agents, process tasks. It's great, it's great to actually know this, but in this tutorial, I just want you to go ahead and get started, get a feel for it, and then you can dive deeper into some of these concepts. So we're going to jump to installation. You're going to need this Python version here. So you want to go to your terminal and check if you have this Python version. Hopefully I can open my terminal and go all the way back. So you should see somewhere that, or maybe I've done it already, but I have installed Python and I have the right version of Python. The next thing you want to do is install crew. And so this one did, I have Windows. This one didn't actually work for me. I believe I used this one right here. So you want to install crew AI tools. Uh, I didn't need to upgrade because I didn't, I didn't initially have an installation. And then you want to verify your installation. After that, you want to create a new project. So I actually created a new folder first. So if I go to... So you can see here, I created a new folder for Crew AI and Crews. And in there, in this folder, this is where I actually created my first crew. And it creates a project structure just like this. Very, very straightforward, especially on your, your first crew. Again, it defines what these files are and they're really, really important files. We're going to make some adjustments to some of these files. So now you have everything you need we are going to jump over to building your first agent. So in this agent, it's going to research a topic and then write a report about a topic it's researched. If you looked at my previous videos with Chip or some of the other tools I used, we might have to do a relatively complicated process to do this, or we might have to use Make to potentially do this. But the advantage with crew is that I can just give it all the agents and I don't actually have to determine the path. It determines which agent should be the next agent or which agent should be involved in that particular workflow. With make, I have to actually define those paths for agents to do that. So what you want to do is go to the terminal and type this. I'm oh, sorry, type this along with the name of your project. So you don't need the latest AI development. You can name your project. I name my project, my first crew. The next thing you want to do is actually open the agents.yaml file in, for me, it was VS Code. So you can see, if we go to agents.yaml, you can see I actually opened this file and you can see it's very simple. We have a researcher and it's given a variable here, which you can see throughout, but you can see senior data researcher, we're giving it a goal and there's a slight backstory and a reporting analyst. So I didn't actually make any adjustments here. If we go down to tasks, which should be the next one, yep. Tasks, this is where you provide tasks to the agent. 
I think the only adjustment that I made is I put the output file here, report.md, under the reporting task because we want an output file of this and we want to save this as report.md. But you can see there's a description of the task and the expected output. And you can see here, there's an expected output for the reporting task and the description. The next thing you want to do is modify your crew.py file. So if we go back and we'll see it here. And I don't actually believe I made any modifications here. So I kept this completely as it is. I didn't make any modifications at all, even though the documentation says, hey, this is the next thing we want to make modifications to. I didn't actually make any modifications here. And then we have main.py. If we go to main.py. So in this particular main.py, when I was first testing this locally, I put the topic indigenous in innovation, which is fine. And it produced a report about indigenous innovation. Uh, if we go back, we should see somewhere down here. So here you can see it produced. So this is the first agent at work that's doing the research. So it's researching. And this is the second agent that's producing the report. But you can see it's about indigenous information as I'm testing this locally. The next thing you want to do is set your environment variables. I'm not going to go through how to actually set up your OpenAI open AI API key, but, and your serpa.dev key, but serpa is allowing it to kind of scan the internet. I believe that's what it's doing. Let's just double check. Yeah, it's allowing it to do like a Google search kind of thing. And OpenAI obviously is allowing it to use large language models. So you want to set this up, but you want to set this up and adjust this right here. And you want to put it right here. If you want to use a different model, here's where you can actually change the model to use. But we have our OpenAI API key and we have our SERPA API key. The next thing you want to do is use the command line. So I have basically gone to the terminal and I have done crew install to lock the dependencies and install them. And then I have run the crew. So if we actually go back here, I think this is what it's doing here. If we scroll down a little bit. So you can see here, crew AI run, and now it's actually running a crew. You can see that it's going through the first agent and the first agent's researching. And then what actually happens is the second agent actually reviews that, what the first agent's done and creates a report based on it. And that your final report would be there, but your final report will also be here. So you can see report.md, your final report is also produced right here. So that is how you get started locally with Crew AI. I think one of the reasons I wanted to do this, a lot of the tutorials are an hour long, uh, 30 minutes long, an hour plus long, and actually, it's relatively quick to get started. I think maybe potentially the only challenge you would have is, and the only challenge I had is make sure you have the right Python version. And installing crew was okay for me. But here, checking your installed versions. So I am actually just going to go to my chat GPT history. Anytime you have an issue, just feel free to ask chat GPT.
So we can see right here that I just said, hey, I got this error message. And for me, I had to use this particular command. So pip freeze select string crew AI, even though the documentation, if we go back to the documentation somewhere, the documentation says to use this, but to check my, to verify the installed version, I had to use this right here.